is PEP8 tutorial number 6 and in this tutorial I will show you how we do um, square so so for example number square something okay so let's say we have a uh, we have x square and we want to calculate this and I'm going to show you this because some of the people have difficulty with this which means um, because I didn't cover it at all so I will just show you in this uh, <coughs> tutorial so first of all I will do my branch main and I will declare my variables like num1 and num2 and counter and then I will go to my main and start with my code okay so what I do is simple um, uh, input statement so decimal input and I will say num1 and I will also load num1 and now what I need to do is store the counter and I will store the num1 in the counter so the num1 will be same as counter as for now so what I do is store and counter and now I have stored the counter so I know my counter now for example if I input 5 the counter will be 5 so what I do first is I will stay at branch G let's say and now I will need some kind of calculation for my result so what I do is um, load number 2 I add number 1 and then I store in number 2 then I again need to load and um, counter then I need to subtract 1 from it because it's a counter it will go down so each time I do the loop because this will be a loop each time I do the loop uh, it will subtract 1 from the counter so the counter is 0 okay so I have subtracted I need to store it now okay so I have stored it and now I need to compare it to 0 so if the counter is more than 0 then I will do the loop so the branch greater than and G so if the if the counter is greater than zero it will branch if it's equal or less than then it will stop and go to next statement which will be decimal output of num2 which is the result and stop and end okay so when I input some kind of value let's say 5 so the square 5 to square will be 5 times 5 so it's 25 as you can see it's 25 and if I put 3 for example be 3 times 3 it's 9 so how this works so first of all I am um, input my number I load it I store it in the counter for the purpose to have uh, the counter um, that will count down how many times I will do the loop then I load number 2 which will be my result I add Num number one once then I store it and then I load the counter again and I will load the counter and I will uh, subtract one from it so that I will count down I will store it and then I compare it to zero so when I compare it and it says branch greater than so if my counter is greater than zero it will go to G so when I have for example 3, 3 is greater than 0, it will go again, add this, uh, subtract 1 and again check the value. So it will be for example 2, it will go again, it will be 1, it will go again, it will be 0. So it's not more than, it's not greater than 0. It will go to this statement and will print out the uh, result. So that's, that's that it, that is it <coughs> for this tutorial. And that's how we do the 
um, square of the number. It's a very easy program, you just need one loop. You can also print out the um, number, the original number, you can print out the counter, but there is no need to. This is the input, this is the output, that's it. Uh, see my um, visit my webpage, visit my um, YouTube channel. If you like it, subscribe to it. Um, many more tutorials on PEP. I think those will be sorry about the noise because they have New Year. I think um, new tutorials on PEP. I don't know when they come out, but probably, probably, um, I don't know later in the next week on the next week uh, and uh, those will be the last tutorials next week when they come out because I, I will not learn PEP anymore and I don't need to just produce them so that's it and um, see you next tutorial and